Be like, damn, slow down. And they see it cleaner just to her crown. She been knocked down, but she never stayed down. She been living life like it's her playground. And they be like, damn, slow down. They can't get just, she be moving too fast. She can't wait up, she be on her back. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Always Talking with Audrey. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Cedric CJ Lofton. Um, as you guys know, over the week, this name and this child has been all over social media so I really wanted to take the time and talk about why. Now Cedric C.J. Lofton is a 17 year old Wichita Kansas native and he died September 26 after Wichita police responded to a call from his foster home stating that the teen was acting erratic and showing aggressive behavior. CJ was originally supposed to be transported to a psychiatric facility, but for reasons unknown, he was taken to the local detention center. While in custody, his erratic behavior, behavior continued and he allegedly assaulted another guard in the detention center. On the same day, after assaulting the guard, CJ was placed in the prone position, which is having your hands and feet shackled while laying on your abdomen. The guards allegedly sat on his back for nearly 20 minutes. Once they noticed that he was not breathing, Cedric was transported to a local hospital where he never gained consciousness again, and he did die two days later. Now, this was back on September 26, like I stated before. Why is this just now being talked about? Well, the autopsy report was just released about a week ago and his death was actually ruled a homicide. The chief medical examiner stated, in my opinion, Cedric died as a result of complications of cardi cardiopulmonary arrest sustained after physical struggle while restrained in the prone position. This ruling actually came after as a shock because local authorities already stated that Lofton did not suffer life-threatening injuries while in custody. At this time, no charges have been placed um, with the employees that was involved and all the employees identified have been placed on paid administrative leave. Now that you guys know a little bit about what transpired with CJ Lofton, I want to talk about why this is garnering so much media attention. If you guys did not know, George Floyd was a man that passed away from the prone position. This prone position since the George Floyd case have been highly talked about and the dangers of the prone position has been put out there to everyone, including the law enforcement. The prone position is something that restricts the breathing. So with him being 17 years old, with him already showing erratic behavior with him already being in a in mental distress you say putting him in a prone position and sitting on his back was indeed excessive force cj was a 17 year old boy not a man not someone that can really harm anyone and his threat was already supposed to be identified and taken care of through the psychiatric facility as he unfortunately already had previous mental um, behaviors that needed to be addressed. CJ, unlike George Floyd, does not have a host of family that is able to advocate for him and talk about the loss of him and how much he would dearly be missed. But his life was taken way too soon for something that should have never happened to him. The prone position and sitting on his back should have never happened. A lot of times in these cases, we hear other people talk about how people should um, respect law enforcement and people shouldn't hurt them and they should just obey by the rules and then things like this would not happen to them well this particular situation we can all talk about what he may have done wrong but the first thing that was done incorrectly was not taking him to a psychiatric facility now a lot of like i said media attention has been gained on this case because a lot of activists is asking for a reform they have been asking for police reform but this one hits a little bit close to home because this does not only involve police reform um, as far as their excessive force, but it's also to the fact of when there are orders that are in place, such as taking someone to a psychiatric facility, they have to be followed because we cannot assume that you guys know how to do your job well when there is a psychiatric need that is there. 
this child should have been taken to the proper hands where they should have they would have known what to do and what not to do excessive force in this situation was not the appropriate um, position to take the prone position was definitely not the action to take seeing that that is not healthy for anyone we have already identified this with the george floyd case this has already been highly talked about and highly scrutinized now cj lofton like i said is a foster child so we have to be his voice we have to talk to uh, talk about him we have to keep his name alive and push this agenda to happen like i stated no one is talking about any um any punishment for the officers that were involved in this crime in this tragedy and for that alone we need to talk about it we need to get with our local officials and really really push that something happens for justice now not only are we asking for police reform but like i said we need to talk about the highlighted misconduct of his mental state of mind of his psychiatric um, mind now with that being said i have put some things in my description box where you guys are able to sign petitions and get informed about the local area that cj lofton is from and how people are trying to take stand in action now as always i thank you guys so much for rocking with me please go ahead and like this video and share it out let's talk about cj lofton let's keep his name alive and let's get justice for him thank you